Welcome back to Animal Facts, here we give you nothing but absolute facts so believe it. Are you curious about the incredible creatures that come out to play when the sun goes down? If so this video is for you. Join us as we explore 10 animals that have evolved amazing adaptations to thrive in the dark. From owls to deep sea fishes and opossums, these animals have developed incredible senses, unique physical traits, and specialized behaviors that allow them to navigate and hunt in complete darkness. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, to stay up to date with our latest videos, now then let's get started. Kicking off today's list we have the deep sea fish. Deep sea fish have developed a range of adaptations that allow them to thrive in the dark and often extreme conditions of the deep ocean. Many of these adaptations are related to their ability to find food and avoid predators in an environment where there is very little light. One of the key adaptations of deep sea fish is their ability to produce and detect bioluminescence, which is the emission and detection of light by living organisms. Many deep sea fish have specialized organs called photophores, which produce light that they use to attract prey or communicate with each other. In addition, deep sea fish have evolved specialized eyes that are adapted to the low light conditions of the deep ocean. These eyes are often much larger than those of shallow water fish and contain more light-sensitive cells called rods. They may also have a reflective layer called the tapetum lucidum, which helps to amplify any available light and improve their ability to see in the dark. Next up we have the eye eye. The eye eye is a unique primate that is found only on the island of Madagascar, and it is known for its remarkable adaptations that allow it to thrive in the dark. Despite being a primate, the eye eye has several features that are similar to those of nocturnal animals, such as its large eyes and sensitive ears. One of the most notable adaptations of the eye eye is its long, thin middle finger, which it uses to locate and extract insects from trees. This finger is equipped with a special sensory organ called a tapping finger, which allows the eye eye to detect and locate insects hiding beneath the bark of trees. This adaptation is particularly useful in the dark, when it is difficult to see the insects. The eye eye also has large ears that are adapted to pick up the sounds of insects moving beneath the bark of trees. In addition, it has an excellent sense of smell, which it uses to locate insects and other food sources. Coming in at number 8 we have the nightjars. Nightjars are a group of nocturnal birds that are found in many parts of the world. They have a range of adaptations that allow them to thrive in the dark and to be successful hunters of insects and other small prey. One of the key adaptations of nightjars is their large eyes, which are particularly sensitive to low light levels. This allows them to see well in the dark and to spot prey that might be invisible to other animals. In addition, nightjars have a reflective layer behind their retinas called the tapetum lucidum, which enhances their ability to see in low light conditions. Finally, Nightjars have an unusual vocalization that is often used during courtship and territorial displays. This vocalization is a distinctive churring sound that is produced by the male's specialized vocal organ, the syrinx. This vocalization helps to attract mates and establish territories in the dark. Taking the number 7 spot we have the opossums. Opossums are a group of nocturnal marsupials that are found in many parts of North, Central, and South America. They have a range of adaptations that allow them to thrive in the dark and to be successful hunters of insects, small animals, and plant material. One of the key adaptations of opossums is their large eyes, which are particularly sensitive to low light levels. This allows them to see well in the dark and to spot prey or danger that might be invisible to other animals. In addition, opossums have a reflective layer behind their retinas called the tapetum lucidum, which enhances their ability to see in low light conditions. Opossums also have an acute sense of smell that allows them to locate food and potential mates in the dark. Their whiskers, called vibrissi, are also highly sensitive to touch, allowing them to navigate through their environment with ease. Coming in at number 6 we have raccoons. Raccoons are a group of nocturnal mammals that are found in North and Central America. They have a range of adaptations that allow them to thrive in the dark and to be successful hunters of insects, small animals, and plant material. One of the key adaptations of raccoons is their large eyes, which are particularly sensitive to low light levels. This allows them to see well in the dark and to spot prey or danger that might be invisible to other animals. In addition, raccoons have a reflective layer behind their retinas called the tapetum lucidum, which enhances their ability to see in low light conditions. 
Raccoons also have an acute sense of smell that allows them to locate food and potential mates in the dark. They have a specialized area in their brain that is dedicated to processing smells, which helps them to identify scents quickly and accurately. Finally, raccoons have a unique vocalization that they use to communicate with each other in the dark. They make a variety of sounds, including purring, chattering, and growling, that can convey different meanings and emotions. Time to get into the top 5, but if you find this video informative in any way, please to leave a like and comment. Next up we have fireflies. Fireflies are insects that are known for their ability to produce light, also called bioluminescence. This light is produced through a chemical reaction that occurs in specialized cells in the firefly's body called photocytes. The light produced by fireflies helps them to communicate with each other and to attract mates, but it also has another important function, it allows them to see in the dark. Fireflies have large, compound eyes that are particularly sensitive to low light levels. These eyes are made up of many tiny lenses that allow them to detect even the smallest amounts of light. In addition, fireflies have specialized cells called, lateral ocelli, that are located on either side of their heads. These cells are more sensitive to light than the compound eyes and help fireflies to detect even the faintest sources of light in their environment. Furthermore, fireflies are able to control the brightness and duration of their own light, which allows them to use it for navigation and to locate potential mates in the dark. By adjusting the frequency and intensity of their light signals, fireflies can communicate with each other and find mates even in complete darkness. Coming in at number 4 we have moths. Moths are nocturnal insects that are adapted to see in low light conditions, including the dark. They have several adaptations that enable them to navigate their environment and find food sources in the absence of daylight. One of the main adaptations of moths is their large compound eyes. The eyes of moths are made up of thousands of individual lenses, which allow them to detect even the slightest variations in light and dark. Additionally, the eyes of moths are covered with a layer of reflective cells, called tapetum cells, which allow them to see better in low light conditions by reflecting the available light back through the retina. Another adaptation of moths is their ability to detect ultraviolet light, which is invisible to humans. Many flowers, for example, have ultraviolet markings that guide pollinators such as moths to the nectar and pollen. By being able to see ultraviolet light, moths can detect these markings and find their food sources more easily. Time for the top 3 and kicking things off we have cats. Cats are well known for their ability to see in the dark, and they have a range of adaptations that allow them to navigate and hunt in low light conditions. One of the key adaptations of cats is their large eyes, which are particularly sensitive to low light levels. They have a higher concentration of rod cells in their retina, which are specialized cells that are more sensitive to light than cone cells. This allows them to see in very low light conditions that would be impossible for humans to see in. In addition, cats have a reflective layer behind their retina called the tapetum lucidum. This layer reflects light back through the retina, allowing the cat's eyes to capture as much light as possible and enhancing their night vision. Cats also have a vertical slit pupil, which can change the size of the pupil quickly and adjust the amount of light entering the eye. This allows them to quickly adapt to changing light conditions and make the most of the limited light available in the dark. Taking second place we have owls. Owls are a group of birds of prey that are well known for their exceptional ability to see in the dark. There are several reasons why owls are so good at seeing in low light conditions, owls have large eyes relative to their body size. This means they can collect more light, allowing them to see better in low light conditions. Owls also have eyes that face forward, giving them binocular vision. This allows them to judge depth and distance accurately, which is important for hunting in the dark. Owls have a reflective layer of tissue behind their retina called the tapetum lucidum. This reflects light back through the retina, giving the owl a second chance to process the light and enhancing their night vision. Also note owls have a high density of rod cells in their retina. These cells are responsible for detecting light in dark and are more sensitive to low light levels than cone cells, which are responsible for color vision. Overall, the combination of these adaptations makes owls well suited to hunting in low light conditions. Their exceptional night vision allows them to locate prey with accuracy and efficiency, making them successful nocturnal hunters. Taking first place on today's list we have bats. 
Bats are a group of mammals that are famous for their ability to navigate and hunt in complete darkness. They have several adaptations that allow them to see in the dark. Bats use echolocation to navigate and hunt in the dark. They emit high-pitched sounds that bounce off objects in their environment, and then they use the echoes of these sounds to create a mental map of their surroundings. This allows them to detect obstacles, locate prey, and navigate through their environment with incredible precision. Many bat species have relatively large eyes that are adapted to low-light conditions. They have a high density of rod cells in their retinas, which are specialized cells that are particularly sensitive to light. This allows them to see well in the dark, even when there is very little ambient light available. Like many other nocturnal animals, bats have a reflective layer behind their retinas called the tapetum lucidum. This layer reflects light back through the retina, which enhances their ability to see in low-light conditions. Bats also have a range of other adaptations that help them to see in the dark. For example, they have large pupils that allow more light to enter their eyes, and they are able to adjust the shape of their lenses to focus on objects at different distances. Overall, the combination of echolocation, large eyes, the tapetum lucidum, and other adaptations make bats incredibly effective at seeing in the dark. We have come to the end of today's video but before you go, I just want to thank you for watching, I appreciate it and please feel free to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Also check out my Instagram link in the bio, for more photos and video clips. This is Animals Facts, see you next time with more facts.